All right, fastest 15 minutes on the internet, fastest 15 minutes in social media. My name is Judson Powell. All right, so I want to address this issue that's, uh, I've seen a lot of people post about these race wars and all of that kind of stuff and, you know, the, the white supremacists and da 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 da. Okay, the only thing that I fear, there's not going to be a race war. Trust and believe that. First of all, I live in like one of the richest parts of the country. And they, you know, they out here, they driving uh, Lamborghinis and, you know, Ferraris <laughs> and Rolls, Rolls, you know. I mean, this is like, you know, they, they like cruising around here chilling. Golf course on every corner. You know, they're not about to let a race war happen. Trust and believe that. The oligarchy uh, is not going to let that happen because there's nothing to gain by it. What, it, what I mean, financially, anytime there's a war, there has to be something to be gained. All right. Most of the white, most of these, you know, people in these militia groups and all that kind of stuff, they're poor, disenfranchised white folks. Black people, we always been poor, so we don't really, you know, we don't really trip. You know, they say, oh, we, we're not going to send you your $1,200 stimulus check. Oh, well, you know, I, I, you know, and I grew up, I grew up in, you know, in, in a middle class neighborhood, but still, yet and still, you know, I have friends that lived in the hood. I had a lot of friends that lived in the hood. And let me tell you something. I've seen black women like make stuff work, like when they had no money, you know, $300, you know, and they'll make that joint last the whole month. So I'm just telling you, we not down with that. And it's not going to, it's not going to happen like they think it is. The other thing is because, look, rich folks are not going to, most of these rich white folks are not going to come out of their mansions. And I mean, they living in mansions, y'all. You know, just trust and believe me, they living in mansions. They chilling, right? They cold chilling. And they not about to come out here and and, and be running through the woods with a backpack on, uh, you know, with a with an AR-15 on their back and all that kind of stuff. Don't nobody want to live like that. I'm just letting you know. And the other thing is, the fact of the matter is, is that they know, they already know who these people are. You know, because when everybody, they caught these people, you know, in, in Michigan, and they supposedly had a plot to kill, you know, the governor of Michigan, they're not going to let stuff like that go down. Y'all trust and believe it. You know, it, because it, there's nothing to gain from it. Now, if you told them there's like $10 trillion to gain from it, then the race war would be on. But there's no money to be made from it. Not to mention you will destroy infrastructure. Uh, and, and as far as I see, like around Arizona, they're building new roads, new buildings, new all kinds of stuff. During, even during the pandemic, they've been building stuff. And they've been, they, you know, even, even where my, my son used to go to school, they're, you know, putting in all new athletic facilities and all that kind of stuff. Just, just building all this. So, so you're going to tell me they're going to build all this stuff, spend all this money, and then allow some, some dudes that's blowing up, uh, blowing up old toilets in the, in the woods. <laughs> they're going to let them, and we got the, we got the greatest military on earth. And, and the same thing, I believe, once again, I believe it's just a lie and a scare tactic by Trump and Barr. You know, Trump and Barr need to go. They they got to go because they're not doing the country any good. And now they start, you know, anytime like this, and this is a Republican state. And anytime you start seeing signs out on the out on the road, basically um, Republicans for Trump. Uh, all I mean, not I'm the Republicans for Biden. I'm sorry, I misspoke. Republicans for Biden. Uh, you got people, uh, you know, I, I see all kinds of stuff asking, you know, like put them in jail, this, that, and the other thing. And for the most part, they not gonna they not gonna let something like that go down. So please trust and believe that is is just not gonna happen. So you know, once again, it's a it's a fear tactic, it's a scare tactic, something to make people. Because then they'll feel like, well, uh, and, and Trump is trying to use it in order to make people vote for him. You know, just like, I mean, anybody that would say, oh, well, we're going to withhold the stimulus if you don't vote for me. It's the same thing. He, you know, he he extorted, he extorted the endorsement of the, of the, of the Puerto Rican governor. You know, like I said, this man didn't even know that Puerto Rico belonged to the United States. He wasn't, and when the hurricane went down in Puerto Rico, he wasn't even going to, you know, he wasn't trying to do nothing to try to rebuild their infrastructure. It took it literally took him 3 years to get them some money 
after after a devastating hurricane that was caused by the way that was that for all intents and purposes it was caused because the big oil companies were uh taking oil took so much oil out of the ground that it caused a shift in the plates but that's the that's the research that's out there so you know, it, it, it's, it's kind of highly unlikely. The same thing, and all of this stuff, you know, oh, well, we're not going to do this until after the election, trying to pull the pull the mailboxes. All of it is voter suppression or trying to get people to vote for him, and that's all it is. You know, oh, well, we're, if, well if Trump loses, we're going to have an all-out race war. Okay, good. You know, remember that Remember that scene in, uh, in um, where Eddie Murphy and... And, uh, you know, and uh, what was it, Richard Pryor? They got guns, we got guns. <laughs> I'm just telling you, don't, don't trip because it's black militias too. They just peaceful. I'm just telling you, there are black militias too. They got guns, we got guns. So, you know, and, and I'm telling you, people don't want to be, look, if they couldn't stand, look, most of the white folks couldn't even stand the Black Lives Matter rallies <laughs> and the little protests and the riots that, that sprang up from that. I mean, let, let's be let's be honest. Let's be truthful with it. You know, you they they cannot, you know, take if they can't take that little bit of confrontation, they're not gonna be able to take no all out race war and people don't wanna walk down. Look, we gotta go. I mean, let's be honest. We got a pretty good society, you know. And I'm telling you, and these and these girls, they don't want to stop going to the mall and Chick Fil A. <laughs> Look, if somebody blow up Chick Fil A, then it might be a war, you know. Then you got you gonna have you gonna have teenage girls all in the middle of the street. But I'm just telling you, that's that's highly unlikely because there's no benefit. There's no benefit to it, and the and the and the thing that Trump and the, and another thing is Trump was played. Trump got played too, because they knew he was dumb. Trump got played, because they knew he was dumb. He he got the tax cut through. He got that. You know he cut he cut corporate taxes by thirty five percent. All of them got rich. All of the billionaires got more billions. And now, only thing they're trying to do at this point is what they're trying to figure out how to how to hide the money. How to keep all of the money that 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 they got back through not paying taxes? So they trying to they trying to shelter it. That's all that's going on. They trying to shelter that money. That's all that's going on. It's not it's it's not you know. And I told y'all. Look, I told y'all when Trump first got elected. I said the only thing that they're gonna do. Trump has done nothing legislatively. Nothing at all. Nothing. Name me a name me a, a, a policy, a law, something that Trump, you know, that Trump actually mastermind and, and got through Congress or or lobbied or did anything for. He has done nothing. He's done nothing at all. So 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 that's what I'm trying to tell you. His job was to get that tax cut through. Then what did they do? Stock buybacks. They bought back all their stock. They turned it into cash. They liquidated it out. And now they're trying to figure out another way to hide it. That's all it is. See, you got to always follow the rich white folks with the money. You know, that's our, that's that's what they used to say in law school all the time. You know, if you want to find out who did it or you want to find out what's that, follow the rich white man with the money. Because that's why anything ever happens. That's why it was done. It wasn't done for any other reason but that. That's the only reason why it was done. Period. Period. You know, the only reason why it was done, period, was so that they could steal money. They don't like Trump. Even, like I said, you know, some of these people like him, but for the most part, the majority of, 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 of rich Republicans don't even like Trump. They just, they put him there to do a job. And, and he deregulated, oh, I'm sorry, he did, he took us out of everything for the environment, we got out of every treaty, every agreement that we ever signed about the environment, all of the regulation. Why? Because regulation benefits corporate people. It, it benefits corporations. If I take away all the regulations and I and you don't have you don't have to operate with any impunity um, with any um, rules or regulations, and you can operate with impunity, you're good. 
what do you got to you know, what are you worried about? Nothing. And that's and that was what Trump's job was. And so now that Trump is done doing that job, there's nothing else that he can do because he's not he's not going to make up anything that's going to benefit the country. And here's the next thing. They also know that when Democrats are in power, the economy is better. Go check it out. Research me. Seriously, Google it. <laughs> but research it. Whenever you have, whenever you have Democrats in power, you have a better economy, a more stable economy. Because ever since Ronald Reagan, the only the only economic policy that the Republicans have ever had is what Reaganomics, trickle down economics. Give give all the rich people the money, and it's somehow supposed to trickle, you know, trickle down to. To, to all of the other people, but it has never happened. So that's so that's why I, I keep saying, you know, and and a war is definitely not, you know, and if they're gonna fight a war, it's gonna be somewhere overseas. They're gonna they're gonna attack some foreign enemy, just like now. But and and, and Trump keeps saying about the the Chinese, and it's it's comical because everything is made in China. Everything, all of these major corporations, all of these multinational corporations, y'all, they're making their stuff in China because they can get cheap labor in China, including Donald Trump. Donald Trump is making, like I said, he got a, he got a line of, of clothing and all of this stuff. All of it is made in China. The same thing with, uh, and, and, I, and like I said, the war would be over as soon as y'all found out that uh, everything that's made by Apple, the iPhones, the iPads, the, all that stuff is made in China. And it's made with, with Chinese parts. So if you, so the bottom line is, so the bottom line is you got to understand that what? That they're they not going to go to war with China. That's ridiculous. And once again, one in every five people in, a, in the world, in the entire world is Asian Chinese. So they not about to go to war with no China. Come on, come on, son. <laughs> they are not about to go to war with China because it's not it's not profitable. It's not beneficial. If I'm making all my stuff in China and then I go and drop a bomb on China, what good is that going to do me? None. And and half of the stuff, you know, all of these and all of the major corporations, no matter what they telling you, they got all kind of stuff running through China because of the labor. You're not going to get Americans to work for for pennies on the dollar. Yeah, and that's why and that's why I keep telling you when they try to start talking about even the stuff about they're, they're sending our jobs away. They're not sending Look, they sent your jobs away. It but it wasn't it wasn't them stealing the jobs. They sent the jobs. Ain't nobody Indonesia ain't come over here and and strong arm nobody. They sure Panama sure enough didn't come over here and strong. I'm just telling you, India and Pakistan, all of those countries got American jobs. Like I said, you call a customer service line, and if you get a person that was born in the United States and speaks proper English, <laughs> like my daddy said, I'll kiss your ass from here to New York. <laughs> I just I, I just don't get it. But 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 people keep falling for the same rhetoric over and over and over again. Do some research. Look some stuff up. You know, just like just like where everybody was talking about the, the like the sneakers and stuff like that. everything we like is made overseas. We don't make nothing here because we because we not gonna make it for pennies on the dollar. We not gonna make it for pennies on the dollar. We just not gonna do that. But I can see, you know, nobody's going to sit up there and, and, you know, take phone calls for three dollars an hour. And that's why all those jobs have been outsourced overseas. They're not it's, it's not it ain't got nothing to do with 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 the, the other country. It's got to do with our own people being so greedy. Yep, that's what it's all about. It's about greed. So, so don't let them, don't let them fool you. You know, the only companies, but there are companies that are hiring. Walmart's still hiring. Amazon is still hiring, you know, because they, they need, they need infrastructure. So they got to have people, you know, and then we're, and then right now the pandemic is like the only industry where we're really, where, like all the jobs are ours. is like the travel industry, like airlines and stuff like that. But even that stuff's being, you know, is, is going away. 
because of the pandemic and because there was no leadership during the pandemic, Trump. Anyway, fast 15 minutes is up. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the love button. I love y'all. Bye.